but how does it feel when you haven't eaten for days on end and you have no clue where to get the morsel of food most people today have never experienced this excruciating torment our ancestors alas knew it too well when they cry to god deliver us from famine this is what they had in mind during the last 100 years technological economic political developments have created an increasingly robust safety net separating human kind from the biological poverty line mass famine still strikes some areas from time to time but they are exceptional and they are almost always caused by human politics rather than by natural catastrophes in most part of the planet even if a person has lost his job and all of his possessions he is unlikely to die from hunger private insurance schemes government agencies and international ngos may not rescue him from poverty but they will provide him with enough daily calories to survive on the collective level the global trade network turns droughts and floods into business opportunities and makes it possible to overcome food shortages quickly and simply even when wars earthquakes or tsunamis devastate entire countries international efforts usually succeed in preventing famine do hundreds of millions still go hungry almost every day in most countries very few people actually strive to death poverty certainly causes many other health problems and malnutrition certain life expectancy even in the richest countries in our in france for example 6 million people about 10% of the population suffer from nutritional insecurities they wake up in the morning not knowing whether they will have anything to eat for lunch they often go to sleep hungry and the nutrition they do obtain is unbalanced and unhealthy lots of starch sugar salt and not even enough protein and vitamins yet nutritional insecurity is in famine and france of the early 21st century is in france of 1694 even in the worst slums around beauva or paris people don't die because they don't have enough eaten for week or and the same transformation has occurred in numerous other countries most notably china for millennia famine stalked every chinese regime from the yellow emperor to the red communist a uh, few decades ago china was a uh, by war for food shortages tens of millions of chinese starved to death during the disastrous great leap forward and exports rolled routinely predicted that the problems would only get worse in 1970 with the first world war conference was convened in rome and delegates were treated to apocalyptic scenarios they were told that there was no way for china to feed its billion people and that the world's most populous country was heading towards catastrophe in fact it was heading towards the greatest economy miracle in history since 1974 hundreds of millions of chinese have been lifted out of poverty and though hundreds of millions more still suffer greatly from privation of and malnutrition for the first time in its recorded history china is now free from famine indeed in most countries today overeating has become a far more problem than famine